Hey guys, Supertender Buff here, and I'm here with a small little Xcode tutorial for you today. Okay, so open up Xcode, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how you can uh, make different views in a tab bar uh, iPhone application. So start a new project and click on tab bar application. Choose, give it a name, I'm going to call it tab bar demo, and save it wherever you want. Okay, we get a little Xcode project menu. And you see there's two main folders in tab bar. Well, there's more than two, but the two main folders we're going to be concentrating on is classes and resources. Go to the resources folder and delete secondview.xib and click also move to trash. We won't be needing that today since all our views will be in main window.xib. Come into your classes folder, right click and click add new file. A little pop up will open. And we're, go, we're going to be in iPhone OS. Click on Cocoa Touch Class, and you see there's three C files. Okay, third one along says UI View Controller Subclass. This is the file you're going to need to be making every time you want to make a new view. So since I'm going to be making, since I'm going to be having three views in this tab bar controller, I'm going to be adding two more since Xcode has already added one for us. So click this. And make sure the two boxes which say UI table view controller subclass and with XIB for user interface are unchecked. And you're going to need to do this every time, as I said, uh, that you want to add a new view or a new tab. So click next, give it a name. So it's going to be second view controller in this case because this is going to be for the second view. Make sure the checkbox is also clicked. So it says also create second view controller.h and finish. And we're going to do this one more time for the third view. Okay, and I'm going to go on to third view controller. Okay, so now under classes, we've got three main uh, three main sets of code, or four main sets of code, but three main sets of code for uh, each different tab. So first view controller h and m for the first tab, second view controller h and m for the second tab. And third view control dot h and dot m for the third tab. Okay, we're done in terms of code files for now. Um, now what we need to do is come to resources and open up main window dot xib. Interface uh, builder will uh, launch and you get your first view. You notice in the tab there's two main views. The second one when you click on it says view and this is loaded from second view. This is not what we want since the second view loads from the second window dot xib but that's not there so what you're going to need to do is to delete the second view like so don't worry doesn't matter now because we will be making the other views right now okay so open up library and to do this go into the menu bar click tools and click library in the library under the objects menu scroll down until you find the tab bar item or UI tab bar item. Drag this into the tab bar. You're going to need to do this as many times as you have views. In this case I'm going to need to do this twice since I need three views and I already got one. Okay now name each tab. I'm just going to call this number one, two and three. Okay and now you see on the first tab there's a little white sheet here or a view. We don't have that on the second or third tab. We're going to need to add one since we're going to need be putting content on the views. We don't want to, we don't want to just leave them blank after all. So in the library, drag in a UI view into the second tab, and same for the third tab. Okay. And now open up Inspector and go to the fourth tab along, which is Identity. You see this a uh, little tab under that saying Class Identity. What you're going to, need to do now is to add the identity of the second and third tab. So click on second, and uh, make sure it's checked, and then in the inspector just type in second view controller, and click enter. So what we've just done here is we've uh, just basically linked the second view, and the view file of course, to the second view controller .h and .m files, which is obviously what we need to do, to do in order for any content in this view to obviously work. Okay, and I'll do the same for the third view. So just click on the third tab and click third view, third view controller, should be there, or isn't it then? Okay. Ah, oh, I know why. 
There we go. Okay, there we go. And click enter and save. Okay, so we've now uh, successfully linked uh, tabs 2 and 3, and obviously tab 1 is already linked to the .h and .m files. And now you can just go and add your own content to each tab. So we could add a navigation bar, we could go into inspector, I don't know, make it translucent bar, we could delete that, we could, I don't know, add a little label saying hi, whatever. Uh, there. And you get the idea, okay? So you, you can just go and add whatever you want into each tab. We can go in a second tab, you see, you get a different view now, obviously, because we added a view. Um, and now you could, I don't know, whatever you want to do, add a web view if you want, I don't know, make it a web browser, whatever you want to do, okay, and save this. Okay, now quit uh, Interface Builder, come to your Xcode project and click Build and Run. Now, if you've done this all properly, uh, everything so far should work. You'll see now when we click on Tab 1, we've got an, a new tab saying hi. Click on Tab 2, it's a different tab, and same for Tab 3, okay. So that was a simple little tutorial on how, to, how you can customize different tabs. Uh, now, one last request I did get was to, when you come into the in, uh, interface, you'll see on a tab view controller, that on each tab you have these little question mark icons. They're there because there is an icon instead of them. How do you add an icon instead of it? Okay, this is how you can do just that. Okay. So, um, in order to add an icon to each different tab, this is how you can do it. So, Command H in order to hide Interface Builder. Come to your Xcode project and open up the resources file. Now, you're going to need to download or make some icons. I personally just download icons. You can find tons of them on the internet. I'll add a link in the description of one really good, or two really good icon developers. Um, they made some really nice icons, which I'm going to be using in my applications. And if you want to import on the icons, this is how you do it. So, let's say you download an icon, or you've made an icon, and it's ready for the tab bar. Go into the folder, where you've got the icons. Here you can see I've got a list of grey icons, which I've downloaded off the internet. Okay, and let's add an icon. I'm going to be adding a chat icon. So, select the icon you want drag and drop the icon into the resources folder in your Xcode project. Okay, a new window pops up. Make sure you've got copy items into destination groups folder if needed, checked. And obviously, recursively create groups for any added folders and click add. Okay, so we've added an icon. Now come back into interface builder. Now in library, you see there's three main views, objects, classes, and media. Media is where your media, whether it's sound, video, or you know uh, pictures, is added. Drag and drop media into the tab bar. There we go. So you can clearly see now that the uh, icon for number one has changed from a question mark to uh, the chat icon. And if you save this, come to Xcode, let's just hide this, and build and run. This time we should get an icon. Yes, there we go. There we go. And you can see Xcode automatically adds a little bit of uh, kind of gradient fill to the icon to make it kind of look more 3D, look nicer when selected. Um, and that's how you do that. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video has helped. If it has, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.